when you're building any business, if you had a company right now that sold light bulbs and someone walks into your office, excuse me, and someone walks into your store and you have one light bulb for sale, you aren't going to stay in business very long. And that's the mindset that real estate agents have to have, is your listing inventory is your store. It's your company. It's your business. So it's very important to go out and get as many listings as you possibly can, even overpriced listings. The jury's still out with many brokers and real estate uh, owners um, on advising their agents to take an overpriced listing. I say take it all day long. However, there's an asterisk by it. If you're an agent that takes an overpriced listing and your seller doesn't know that it's overpriced, then that's wrong. I don't believe in that, and that happens all the time. If the seller understands that they are priced out of the market and that you're not going to spend a bunch of money, if any, on marketing this home, however, you'll put a sign in the yard and you'll do your very best to sell it. It benefits the listing agent times 10 if they accept this because you never know when the seller may, may have an epiphany and call you up one morning and say, I'm tired of nobody not showing up at my house. I'm, I'm tired of not getting any traffic. We've gotten serious. We want to get it sold. Let's drop it 50000 Well, if you're not the one that took that listing in the first place, you aren't going to have those benefits. That's just one. And that always happens. And number two is you're going to sell at least one home off that listing if you do it right. So when you've got a sign in the yard, when somebody drives by and says, yes, I'm calling about the, uh, the house at 1256 Jackson Street. Can you tell me the price? And you say, it's 275. And then your buyer says, well, we're trying to stay in the, the 200 to the $225,000 price range. If you're a smart agent, you're going to have a list of homes that are in that price range within a three-mile area. So you can immediately turn them on to some other home and it doesn't have to be your listing. So if you do it correctly, if you take an overpriced listing and you disclose it where the seller knows it, you're going to sell at least one house off it if you do it right. Your credibility should not be a concern to anybody but you and the general public. If you're blazing the trail, if you're leading by example, and if you're blowing everybody's doors away, you can be the nicest agent in the world and you're still going to have your peers be jealous of you. So the last thing you need to think about and worry about is if the other agents are going to talk and say, well, he takes overpriced listings. Because if you took all underpriced listings, it's going to hurt your credibility also because they think that you talk the sellers down to sell it, you know, at a, at a lower price. So my recommendation to all real estate agents, if you have an opportunity to take a listing and it's high for the current market, at least take it and then consistently counsel with the sellers to bring it down to what it should be.